Most bikes these days come with 21 speeds. However, this doesn't mean you have 21 usable gears. Actually, on a 21 speed system, it's closer to 13. Understandably, a lot of people get confused by all of the gear combinations available. I myself didn't understand it when I first started using a multi-speed bike, so today we'll learn how to shift your gears most effectively. It's very important not to shift your gears under pressure, as this can cause shift problems and damage your drivetrain. If you need to shift when you're going uphill, keep pedaling but ease off and pedal lightly while you shift. Most systems have three gears on the front, which are controlled by your left shifter. The rear gear cluster usually has seven gears, with some systems having eight or nine. Not to worry, the concepts here are the same. For most everyday riding, you'll want to keep your chain on the middle ring on the front, or number two on your left shifter. This allows you to use the full range of rear gears. Number one on your right shifter is the easiest gear for climbing hills, as it puts your chain on the largest rear sprocket. Number seven on your right shifter is the hardest gear for going really fast and it puts your chain on the smallest rear sprocket. I find it helps to think of numbers 1 and 3 on your left shifter as options for extreme circumstances. If you're climbing a really tough hill and your left 2 and right 1 combination aren't easy enough, you can shift your front derailleur to number 1 which drops the chain down to the smallest front chain ring. While you're in the smallest front gear, you can shift the rear gears between 1 and 3 for a finer range adjustment. But you should always shift the front back to 2, or the middle chain ring, before using gears 4 to 7 on the rear. If you're going really fast, and need a harder gear, and your left 2 and right 7 combination isn't fast enough, you can shift your front derailleur to number 3, which pulls the chain up to the largest front chain ring. While you're in the largest front chain ring, you can shift the rear gears between 7 and 5 for a finer range adjustment but always shift the front back to 2 or the middle chain ring before using gears 1 to 4 on the rear. Never use the full range of rear gears when you're in either the small or large front sprockets. This causes too great of an angle in your chain line, which can cause noise and shifting problems.